I knew there were just a ton more fees behind there somewhere, and we just had to find them. From the beginning of January 2008 to the end of March, Jerry lost $44,108. Those were investment losses that Jerry knew about. It's what he didn't know that's got him worried. After his losses, Jerry now has about $390,000 in his 401k. According to an independent audit of his account, Jerry would have tens of thousands more were it not for hidden fees. Jerry called his bosses at the Portland-based engineering firm, Elcon Associates, and demanded to know where all the extra fees were coming from. I said, what kind of crap is this? And they said, well, we got what we, you know, we got this. I said, well, it's got to come from somewhere. Let's find out where it is. Well, Matt found out. Matt is Matt Hutchison, a nationally recognized retirement plan expert who in 2007 testified to Congress about hidden fees. When we buy bread, we know exactly how much it costs. One dollar buys one dollar's worth of bread. However, when it comes to 401k plans, the sticker price is advertised at 50 cents yet the actual cost may be closer to $3. Hutchison does occasional audits for the U.S. Department of Labor, the federal agency that regulates retirement plans. So Bloomberg News asked him to review Jerry Schneider's account. In February 2007, Jerry received this memo from Elcon, informing him that the company running Elcon's plan, John Hancock Financial Services, charged annual fees amounting to one-tenth of one percent of the assets in his portfolio or about $404. That's not what Matt Hutchison found. Jerry, it appears that you're paying approximately, uh, based on our, our findings, over 3,000% more than what you believed you were paying. And over a substantial period of time, 20 plus years, that has the effect of eroding your account balance and ultimately your benefits by 40 to 60%. So Jerry's fees were really around 3.6%, and that hurt. Instead of paying $404 for his plan in 2007, he really forked over more than $14,500. School psychologist Jerry Daniels Hall has kept money in a plan called Value Builder, offered by her union, the National Education Association. Jerry has a 403B, which operates like a 401K, but applies to public school employees like Jerry as well as workers in governments, universities, and nonprofits. Daniels Hall and her attorneys say she's got less money in her account, in part, because of hidden fees. Lawyers talk about the slippery slope. Uh, this case is the pile up at the bottom of the slope. Derek Lozier is a partner in the Seattle-based firm Keller Rohrbeck. He represents Jerry and another union member in a class action lawsuit that accused the NEA of conflicting interests, resulting in fees that could, quote, be characterized as truly absurd. Lozier says he and his colleagues have never seen fees as high as the NEA's worst case, 12.17 percent. A fee load of that uh, degree would make it impossible for anyone to generate any additional savings uh, out of this plan. Some people may well end up with less money. Hearing that doesn't make Jerry feel better. She says she feels betrayed. Oh, it makes me sick. Honestly, I didn't realize there were fees at all that anybody was taking out of my, my uh, little chunk of money. Um, I had no idea. The individuals who have contacted us, the clients that we have, were outraged to learn that this plan was not brought to them by their union because of its merits, but was brought to them because of kickback payments that the union received. That was simply, uh, in their minds, an outrageous breach of trust. The Walmart plan, with nearly a million participants and nine and a half billion in assets, includes a contract with 401k provider Merrill Lynch to withhold fee information from employees. The 401k fair disclosure and retirement. House and Senate lawmakers are so concerned about hidden fees that in 2007 they introduced three different bills to fix this problem. Remember in the Wizard of Oz when they say, "Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain." Pay no attention to that man because there's a whole scam, there's a whole front going on, and you're not supposed to figure out what's going on behind the scenes. That's what the problem is. So what I think we have to do is pull back the curtain and say, here's how much money your fund earned. 
here's how much money the managers took out of it. Here's how much money you got left over. Americans have more than $3 trillion in 401ks, and a big chunk is managed by mutual funds. Hidden fees amounting to just 1% means $30 billion in revenue for the industry. Less 401k balances climb a lot higher. More and more Americans could be forced to work in their golden years to make ends meet because Social Security isn't enough to live on. And as SEC Chairman Cox put it, pension plans are going the way of the 8-track tape. Fees can make the difference between having a comfortable nest egg and joining the ranks of the elderly unemployed. You know, we can't be absolutely certain about a lot of things in the stock market. But the one thing that I am completely certain of is the more the fee I pay for the provider of the product, the less there will be for me. If the data from the AARP is anything to go by, some 40 million Americans have no clue what their retirement plans really cost. Jerry Schneider has been paying at least 30 times more than he thought he was paying. Perhaps even more scary is the fact that there's no way to know if you're one of those paying fees that could drain half your potential retirement savings. Because right now, the companies providing the plans are under no obligation to tell you. I'm Mike Schneider. Thanks for joining us.